had this on our list for weeks and this is such a good story but we keep passing by it and it's mariah's story she you always have the good oh. stories <laughs> The thing is, I wish it's not that satisfying because it's not me personally. It will be. It, it will be. It will be. I'm looking at the title. I'm like, this is going to be a lot of stories on here that are other people's yeah. stories. Every just... time I tell a story, my mom calls me. You know, you told it wrong. I'm like, she's got, she's <laughs> I was gotta... wearing a green dress, not a blue dress. <laughs> I do. I have, a video, it. I have a video of her telling the story just so I wouldn't forget. But I forgot. So sorry, T. <laughs> Um, so my mom, when she was younger, she worked at a restaurant. It was a, a mob restaurant. I'm going to call it like, she, she, mob she doesn't want to get just killed. Yeah, just <laughs> like, I don't know. It was, it was like a mob Leave it ambiguous. restaurant. Yeah. It was like she a flips the word around bomb. You know, it was a bomb restaurant. <laughs> I said mom. It was my mom's restaurant. Um, so it was a mob restaurant. She worked there as a coat girl. So she would like greet people and take their coats and put it into the coat closet. Yeah. Um, one day the, her coworker called her and she was like hey like sorry it's so last minute like this is an emergency can i take your shift like i need to pay for something whatever my mom was like okay and she's never done that before she's like okay yeah um that night that that co-worker took her shift um people broke in and shot up the place jesus oh my god and the whole place they shot up the place yeah <laughs> the whole place the people I mean, that's pretty fucking crazy. Right. like that's your that, that was your mom that could have been your mom you couldn't right. even, you wouldn't even oh no you have right no now. idea it's crazy so they came in and shot up the place and the coat girl my mom's co-worker that took her shift um she he had her held hostage Oh so my God. she got behind the bar, went into survival mode, and she started pouring him drinks, getting to know him, just playing her cards smart. right. Smart. Yeah, you very smart. <laughs> yeah, right. Very smart. So pretty much getting into his head, like becoming really friendly with him. And he ended up. <laughs> you kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I'd be saying all the time. I probably I'm, fucked the killer. I, I like killer. me a bad boy. <laughs> Um, Have you seen The Godfather? <laughs> you she, like, are the just This reminds like me man. of a wow. scene. Have you seen? <laughs> Leave the gun, take the cannoli, am I right? <laughs> 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 just like trying to like bond with them. <laughs> Shit. I'm literally at the last sentence, so if we can just hold off. <laughs> this could this could end really Damn sad, it. and we're just making all these. It jokes. is gonna end sad. Wait, That's did, why I'm like, oh shit. Did oh, anything get on the coats? Can you hold on? <laughs> hold the fucking phone. <laughs> the coats. <laughs> I have literally one more sentence. Wait, okay, got, got, story. My bad, my bad. He ended up shooting himself right in front of her. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Oof. But she survived. <laughs> She she messed up yeah. Oh my god, thank girl. god. Like she's alive. She's alive to this day. I feel like people died in that place. I don't know. I have no idea. Of course. Can you can you find out from your mom and like give us a little sure. update? Okay. My uh my dad's friend came over like uh, a couple months ago and he was talking. I, I don't I forgot if it was I think it was in another country. I might have been Lebanon, but um he had a meeting at like 8 a.m. and his co-worker showed up late and um, like at 8, 15, 8, 20, they showed up and this guy's like, really like, he's very like on time, like on time or like, you know, we're, we're this is like, you know, we're not going to do this. They showed up late. He's like, no, uh, no, you showed up late. Like we're not going to, they were going to have a meeting somewhere, somewhere at a restaurant. And he was like, no, you showed up late. Like, this is not higher role. Like you're going to like, you're going to have to go without me. Like, I'm sorry, this is not happening. Like next time, if, if I say eight o'clock, you'd be here at eight o'clock. So they're like, okay, fine. They went home, never went to this restaurant. That day, that entire restaurant got shot up, killed every single person in this restaurant. Oh, what the, the time fuck? that they were supposed to be in there. Fucking insane. It was almost like, like what, like what happened? Fate. In that moment where like, like just, I just feel like God, just somebody was just like, we got to make this meet Cause this guy is a good no, guy. I know right. God. That's I'm wild. Fucking wild. I couldn't, when you Could, told me the story, I couldn't imagine I that chills. feeling of being like knowing you were supposed to be there and like you just, something went wrong and you weren't there. And you got denied and you're. That's like, like to me, I, all I think about is like Final Destination. It's just like, okay, that, what's going to happen? It, you, you, cheated, you cheated. Maybe yeah. it's, your yeah. judge, it's your judgment day where it's just yeah. like. Maybe that's why Zane shows up late to everything. He's scarred from that story. Would you guys take that if some if something like that happened to you? Would you take that as oh my god? Well, I almost died, but like now that I've been in that situation or I was connected to a situation like that, now I can kind of live freely. Or would you be just 
on your. On I'd be on edge for the rest edge, of my life. For the rest of your life. I don't think I would go on edge. Very just confused by yeah. it all. No, I just think everything does happen for a reason. So I would look at that situation and be like, that happened because of this, and that's confirmation, like with my faith and stuff like that. A so of, I, I wouldn't people, live on edge. I'd just be like, yeah. everything does happen for a reason. A lot of people feel guilt though because of that. Right. Yeah. They, like have, they, they have hold like, like a burden. Yeah. yeah. Did, did I ever tell you the story about when I was in college and like what happened to me my freshman year? No. I haven't. Oh man. Okay. I never said this. I mean, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Did I tell you about my freshman year? Well, no. I mean, I've heard, I've heard, heard of this incident. Know. Like this, uh, like almost basically was like a campus shooting that happened my freshman year of college. Oh, no, I've never heard of this. What okay. school did you go to? I went to UT Austin, Mariah. Right. I know that. I we just... got the hook 'em horns always in that corner, <laughs> just in case. Um, uh, I went to UT Austin, and this happened my freshman year. Um, uh, it was like late September of 2010. Um, I had an intro to journalism class that started at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, and it was right outside there. Not MRI. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I put the stories together. we show up at 8, 8 o'clock and whatever. Um, it, but it, for the people who are listening, if you know UT, it was in the UTC, which is right near the PCL, which is the library. I was staying in Jester. As you know, that's right across the street from the library. As you I, know. Can, I can picture it. Guys, yeah. as yeah. you know. So around, I got to class that day, probably around 7.50, 10 yeah. minutes early going in to class um we go in we sit down and it's a huge lecture hall i the class was probably like a couple hundred students okay. in it um and you know the class starts at 8 a.m professor starts giving the lecture all of a sudden like five or ten kids run into our lecture hall and they go there's a guy outside shooting a gun <gasps> and we were we were all like, huh? What? And this was what? intro to journalism. We had just studied uh, like a case study about the Columbine. Everybody sh running out trying to get the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well uh, we thought like because we had just studied Columbine, a case study about the journalism covering that day. We thought that these were like like staged actors or that oh, they were like, like no. this was like a crisis drill. Got it. So the professor was like, kind of like laughed and goes, I'm sorry, what are you guys talking about? And this kid is like, there's someone outside shooting a gun. He shot it on the ground and shot it in the sky. And we still like, the class is like, is this like a prank? What's going on? There's there's no part of you, everybody, where you're just like, this is real. Well, it's still like we were like, we still were just trying to comprehend it. Yeah. It was very early in the morning and very confusing. Oh we didn't hear gosh. the gun I, go off, yeah. but it was right. So Weird. then more students started pouring in and they go, there was a guy outside shooting a gun. And then all of a sudden the professor's like, shut the doors right now. And he goes, everybody get under your desks. Oh and right God. then in that moment, dude, my heart freaking sank. Like, I was just in total freak out mode where I'm like, you always worry about this day where a school shooting, right. uh, could it, would it ever happen? And right now it was like happening. And then what was scary about I'm getting, it, I'm getting they, goosebumps. I know this is scary. They closed that door. <laughs> they closed the doors. We shut all of them. And then all of a sudden we started hearing pounding and pounding and pounding. Oh my, oh my God. God, Matt. And that, then in our head, we're thinking, I would have passed is out. that we, we thought immediately Somebody that's the shooter. Well, it, we thought like that was the shooter trying to get in. And everybody is just like, oh my God, like freaking out. I was holding this like girl's hand underneath the desk and she was like in tears. But what was happening is that was those were other students who were oh, all trying to fuck. flood in to like get into and the dude, classrooms? And like it, it's so, like in that moment, like you don't know who's who. It's like that's and that's the scariest fucking part. And it's like, do you open it to let somebody like not knowing who's on the other side? Like mm -hmm. right? Because it could because that's the protocol yeah. though once the in door shut school, you shut the door oh really because you, yeah. if you open that up one of them could be the gunman who's trying to escape whatever he committed oh right my God. so once again i haven't like revealed what has ha had happened all we know is what is going on we all yeah. get everybody gets text there's a gunman on campus authorities oh are coming God. we don't know if there's there's a possibility of a second gunman yeah. and this was 8 a.m and we were under lockdown in that classroom from 8 a.m. to about 3 p.m. SWAT. Oh Jesus. my goodness. SWAT escorted us out that with like felt like huge, the longest like fucking amount of time. on military vehicles and everything. We had to walk and were completely escorted out that day. I couldn't even go back into my dormitory. Um, really spooky day. So what Damn. ended up happening is that there was a student who um, I don't I don't feel like I should say his name, um, but you can Google it. Um, he was like a mathematics student. Um, I'm not sure if he was a junior or senior. Was very depressed. Um, took the bus to school that day uh -huh. with an AK-47 in his backpack. Oh. 
Oh, shit. Um, and he had a ski mask, but he took the bus, got out of the bus, um, put on the ski mask, and then pulled out his AK-47, shot a few rounds into the air, a few rounds onto the ground, oh my and then God. headed right towards the library. Um, ran into the library, ran Jesus. through the uh, first floor of the library, um, and just ran up all of the stairs up to like the sixth floor um, and then shot himself. Mm. Um, he, and he didn't like shoot anybody? Oh, he didn't get no. no. So but basically kind of what had happened was it was a, what we believe some people or have like kind of made this conclusion that it was a student who had very ill intentions, wanted to go to school that day to hurt people. Um, Cause it's an AK 47. Yeah, you, you're, you, you're, you have yeah. ill intentions if you're, carrying an ak-47 yeah. it's that you don't just you know if you're gonna kill yourself you're using that gun to like hurt a lot of you hurt a lot and i think during that moment he realized right when he got out and he shot off his gun that this was a bad decision and just went into the library went up at the Probably top panicked, and yeah. killed himself and it's just and i know i'm not trying to make the story about me but it shakes you up because i used to go if there was a big test that day i would go to the pcl at seven in the morning yeah and i would study at all the little random floors and everything up until going to class at 8 a.m like the timing yeah. of that day and when he got off at the bus and where i was oh, yeah i mean i was there. less than like a hundred yards from where this kid had shot off his yeah. rounds but it was just a really spooky day and they goodness and thank god it wasn't anything more serious yeah. than what it was i can't believe like you've never told us this, this i is know fucking I, insane i'd always thought like i had shared it before no. on this but that i haven't i've never said that story bananas. but it's it's really sad and obviously the college has done a lot to recognize mental health of students and stuff because this kid hadn't reached out he was a kid who was very depressed home life wasn't great i don't know how his grades were doing but i just snapped and that's what's yeah, really that's so scary sad. is that's you never know who's around you who um, could be alone and could be hurting. But oh my gosh. Yeah. Shook me up that day. I feel like in those moments, you realize how open these places are, how open schools are. Like it's, it's so Not scary. Anymore. You kind of wish you wish that yeah. there was a little bit more security, which I mean, it's and then so you don't want to become a police state where it's just like, you I, have to get scanned in every time you enter a mall. Exactly. Like, like you don't want TSA all over the fucking place. That's just like, that's like a lot, but like, sometimes you're just like my elementary school had like portables that like the fifth graders, that's where their classes would yeah. be. So you, for a, literally a second, you would have to walk outside to get to those portables and they, they demolish the whole thing. Cause they don't want kids stepping out of the school. Oh, a few of our classrooms in sixth grade had no doors on into the classroom. How do you get in? Well, you, you just mean? could walk in. Oh, like, I thought was, you meant like, like, act, like, no, there the were no doors. Door. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. I'm like a little confused. Like when you say no front door, he's saying like just an archway, like just pretend the door door doesn't swing. It's just an opening to walk in. Yeah. Oh, so they would make so a certain classes. Most of the classes in the school had doors. These rooms did not have doors, and we would have to sit there huddled, freaking oh out about God. the idea of an why intruder they, walking in and being like, "They can't. They, they could just walk in." Why did? Why didn't they have? I bet they good have Good question. Now. I don't just know. Old? Texas public school budgets. I don't know. I feel like uh, also. I feel like every classroom should have two doors. Like, I bet an you exit now, and it, like an exit and an entrance know. just in case. I bet they have them now. Yeah. This was. 2000 yeah, and like a lot of things four. changed didn't you say when we passed plantation high school didn't you say like those gates weren't there when you were there yeah south they, they, it's it's pretty like locked down now oh really yeah mm -hmm. there's like a huge like big white like gate gated doors to get to the front door that was great i mean i i, I think schools like that should be like just very secure yeah. like there should be no I think it's way getting to get better now like because that. it's more common for bad things to happen yeah but oh i just remember that like doing Fuck. shooting drills and being like what Anybody can what walk year, in. How old are you? Sixth grade. Um. I oh, I thought this was in college. This isn't. No, he's sixth talking grade. About the, my the, middle school. The, uh, the second story. This is no the second doors. one. There was oh, no doors. No, I talked about the doors oh, shutting. Sorry, sorry. The I was talking about one. the first one, but th that yeah. was in college. Wow. Oof. Oof. That was a lot. That's fucking nuts. It's heavy.